Hi everyone, this is Michelle Stelling with the National Association of Digital Scrapbookers and this is our very first Q&A Tuesday. So I don't know if I'm going to do this every single Tuesday, but if I get enough likes and shares and all that, then I plan on doing it every Tuesday. So it's going to be a couple minute um, tips and tricks and questions from the audience. My first question is from Linda from Rochester, New York, and she asks, how do you get rid of wrinkles and how do you brighten eyes and make the eyes pop? So I'm going to try to answer that question, Linda, in a couple minutes worth of um, training. So it's going to go kind of quickly, but you can watch this video over and over again. So here's the before picture right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to try to um, take the eyes and make them really pop. And we're also going to take some of the wrinkles out right around the eyes as well. Now, this whole entire class can be found inside the membership area. So if you are a member, go ahead and take a look at that. But I'm going to go through this rather quickly. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and open up a, um, the beginner one the before I guess you would say and this one here has not been edited whatsoever as you can see so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna quickly take um, what's called our um, spot healing brush and we're gonna go through it rather quickly and just see what we can do with the spot healing brush now on the left hand side you're gonna see spot healing brush you can click on the J on the keyboard to get right to it as you notice, I have a few little wrinkles here, and I'm just going to kind of go through some of the areas where I have splotches and wrinkles, and I'm just going to click and drag throughout them. Now, what I recommend is going in really, really tight and really getting close to your subject as far as zooming in and zooming out. So then I'm going to go back to my spot healing brush and again I can use my right bracket or left bracket. See how I'm doing making that larger and smaller by just clicking on the right and left bracket and going in there and just it's kind of trial and error a lot of times so I'm just going to kind of click and drag over the top of it and I'm going to make it a little bit smaller and then go up in here. Now you don't want to get rid of all the wrinkles because then that's going to look kind of fake. But I'm just going to get rid of like every other wrinkle. And you can see that I have some mascara that kind of um, fell down over my eye there too. It's kind of looking a little, there we go, just kind of trial and error. And then I have a few things over here. And I'm just going to focus on this um, left hand side, or right hand side here. And let's go up in here, just a couple clicks. And that's pretty good as far as getting rid of some of these wrinkles. I should have kept it before and after, but that's okay. All right, so also you can see that my the whites of my eyes are not really that white. There's all kinds of ways you can do this. So don't um, think that just the way I'm teaching it is the only way. I usually teach the quick and easy way because us digital scrapbookers, we want things done really fast because we want to do a lot of um, other pages. So I'm going to come over here, and you've probably heard of the Dodge Burn and Sponge Tool. But what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead into the Dodge Burn and Sponge Tool, and that can be found midway here. If you hover over it, it will be the O on your keyboard and I'm just going to click on that and I'm using version 11 right now so that the other things are going to fall down here so we're going to be using the dodge tool and I'm going to make sure that my um, brush size is fairly large it's probably going to cover almost the white of my eye and I'm just going to click a couple times now you'll notice how it starts to become a little bit whiter as I keep clicking now if I want to get in there really close then I can make my brush size a little bit smaller and there it's a lot whiter Now you don't want to get too white because then it's going to look kind of creepy but you just want to kind of whiten it up just a little bit you can also go in here and darken up some of the uh, the black the iris um, a pupil sorry and you can make the eye a different color as well so those of you who are members go inside the membership area I've got a whole section on that and I'll show you in a couple seconds now one thing that I um, drives me crazy is that my eyelashes are very very short so I can go this is so cool I can go to um, the internet and I'm just gonna type in um, uh, eyelashes let's see uh, no let's see, yeah eyelashes eyelash brushes Photoshop free okay so I'm going to eyelash brushes Photoshop free in Google and the first one that pops up is this one here so I'm just gonna click on that I'm gonna open that up 
and I'm going to download these brushes. Now I show you step by step how to insert these brushes and all, but I'm just going to go ahead and download this real quickly. So you click on download. I'm just going to go ahead and save it to my desktop. Oops, I just saved it somewhere. I'm not sure where. Let's go ahead and save it to the desktop. Let's go download, save as, just so I know where it's going. It's a zip file. I'm going to click on desktop and save it there. Then I'm going to go ahead, let's just close out of this, close here, not close out of it, but shorten it up. And then right here on my desktop it says SS Eyelashes Zip. So I'm going to double click on that. I'm going to take this ABR file and just drag it and drop it and drop it to my desktop. So it's an ABR file. Now what I'm doing is I'm going to go back to Photoshop Elements and I'm going to put those brushes, their eyelashes, in my brushes area. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go into my brushes, get my brush tool, and I'm going to load brushes. Then I'm going to go to my desktop and I'm going to find my AVR file, SS Lashes, load those up. There they are. Very cool, huh? Okay, then I'm going to come over here and I'm just going to go ahead and put another layer on there. And I'm going to go get my brush tool on the left hand side you'll see. Then I'm going to go back down here and get an eyelash. Now I'm just going to get some really crazy thick thick eyelashes. This looks like it's the right eye. And I'm going to come out here. I'm going to make my brush size a little bit bigger. It's on a different layer and I'm going to click one time. That looks too much. So let's undo that and let's go down and try another eyelash. So let's try this one right here. Don't know if it's going to work or not. That looks a little bit better. I'm going to make sure that I get the size that I need it to be. And I'm going to click one time. Click. And that looks a little bit better. It might be a little bit off, but you can go in there and transform it and you can rotate it and all that other stuff. They also have eyelashes that go on the bottom as well. So let's just see if I can find those. Let's see here. Really light one. So here's one here. Come back out in my area and I'm going to put it on another layer and I'm going to make it a little bit bigger and I'm going to click and you notice that they're very very they need to be rotated a little bit. So let's go ahead and get my um, rotate tool, my move tool. Rotate those eyelashes and see if I can't get them to kind of fall in the right area. I might have to do a little bit of there we go. And that looks okay. It might be a little bit off, but you get the idea. So there we have it. In a couple minutes, we created a really nice looking um, eye, and that might need to be rotated a little bit. And you can change the color of that brush as well. It's a really black, black color, so it's a little bit stark, but you get the idea. Now over here to the right, we got rid of a little bit of the um, wrinkles around the eye. We brightened the eye up a little bit. If you want more information, just become a member. Go inside of our membership area, and let me just show you really quickly where that can be found for those of you who are members. I hope you enjoy this. Make sure you click like if you want me to keep doing these every every Tuesday, and I will keep delivering. So you just log in to the membership area if you are a member so that you can get more information on this. Oh, and by the way, if you want to get some really good bonuses, if you just want to sign up for membership today and you're a first-time member, you can be sure to check us out at naods.com slash secret. And there are some really good bonuses there. So what you do is you just come down here, you log in. Here's that portrait retouch. It's a whole hour session of this class, and it shows you step-by-step step on how you can even go further with your portrait retouching. Thanks for, so much for joining me today, and I hope to see you next Tuesday.